Hey everyone! I have a quick video today about something that came as a little bit of a surprise to me. I got a free key for a jousing simulator called Gallantry. Needless to say, I was compelled to show you. Maybe I can look at this as a mark of success. I'm now getting unsolicited review content sent to me. But I wanted to let you guys know right away so I won't be accused of bias. Let's dive right into this mysterious game. Gallantry promises that you can relive the medieval tournament so you can become a champion and fulfill your dad's legacy. We're going to start off with some pocket change, and we're going to need to crumble a whole bunch of random names to earn enough cash to upgrade equipment. You begin with a quest, and the option to battle right away. Once you get yourself absolutely trampled, you realize the action portion of this game is a bit intense. Let me start by saying I know nothing about the rules of jousting, and this game doesn't really give you any direction. There aren't any tutorials, no indicators to guide you in any way. Each round is basically a random clash that lasts a few seconds, and if I'm being honest, the damage you do and what's done back to you, it, it does also seem random. Generally speaking, you just want to aim for the other guy and sort of hope. Eventually, I learned that you can either win by breaking your lance more times than the other guy, or somehow depleting their hit points before they do yours, though you don't really have any control to target your opponent with any accuracy. The mouse control becomes an overweight mess at the start of each bout, and then you clash, and then you feed your horse, I guess. And that concludes the gameplay portion of Gallantry. The rest of the game is basically a world map, and options therein. Shops within the game appear randomly, or you can rest until one spawns randomly around you. They essentially amount to upgrade stations, and the efficacy of these upgrades is a bit questionable. After I did manage to upgrade things, I did start winning more often. So, I guess they did something. The initial quest that I had started either never ended, or maybe it just bugged out, because it wasn't long at all before my options were limited to just shops and random matches to make money. Without any kind of defined goal or anything to work towards, I just wandered around aimlessly until I was uninterested in buying anything else. Overall, the controls and the UI gave me the impression that this was maybe supposed to be a mobile game, and maybe it should have been. Touch controls and a better price point might have done something to salvage my opinion of this, but this isn't something anyone should pay 8 bucks for on Steam if we're comparing it to almost any game within its price range. Assuming the person who sent this to me has seen any of my content, I'm not really sure what they expected in sending this over. My review videos often focus on value, and this game either seems like an overvalued student project at best, or potentially a greedy cash grab attempt at worst. Either way, there's a long list of games with way more bang for your buck. I should also mention, this isn't an early access title. I don't see any evidence of ongoing development or any kind of proposed changes. Obviously, I can't recommend this one to anyone in the state that it's in. I don't really have much more to say on this one. I do appreciate you bearing with me as we got through this one together. Thanks for watching.